Hello friends, welcome to Work Talks Daily. So in this podcast, we gonna talk about um, literature in the mother tongue. Everybody knows learning languages is really, really important these days in order to make a career, get into uh, universities, for example, if you want to study abroad overseas. But there is, we don't have to, uh, we don't have to forget the our mother tongue as well too. Mother tongue is, is very, um, it's very, very important if, if, for example, if you want to get into university. So we're going to talk about literature on, on our, our mother tongue, the Uzbek language. So in order to discuss with this, about this topic, I invited uh, Diora, we just call him his country, so to our show, to our podcast. So we're going to talk about a lot of things. And also, there's one more important thing, uh, her uh, mother tongue and Uzbek language or Uzbek literature teacher, uh, Samidinova, she will talk about her teacher as well too. So if Samidinova is watching uh, our podcast, please uh, watch the land. We're going to talk about you today. Okay. Dara, welcome to the show. So we were, we were expecting you to be in here to talk about Uzbek language and literature and and talk about your theater as well too so why you are interested in mother tongue exactly um, Uzbek language so first of all when i was young i always to i always wanted to be a teacher okay but i didn't decide to um choose one subject but uh, you know my mom is teacher and okay. i always want to be a teacher like her i always interested her uh, paperwork and works and I decided to be a teacher in the future, and since my fifth grade, I always attend a uh, mother tongue competition, and it seems like to me very interesting, and uh, also it seems like to me very easy, and mm-hmm. I decided um, this subject is really interesting, and so that's why you I start guess. learning in, uh, okay mother tongue. Okay, you got B two in English. Yes. It's an English certificate. So you got to 93 points, I guess, right now. So you applied for to getting for um, the Uzbek, Uzbek certificate, Uzbek, so Uzbek language certificate as well, yes. too. So uh, is it difficult to take? Um, I mean, I know exactly uh, like getting B2 certificate in English is difficult, but how about the Uzbek language? Uh, you know, uh, after I get in the server, okay. um, I started to work on my, my, myself. To, okay. Uh, prepare uh, taking a uh, multi-time certificate okay. uh, but I had a lot of difficulties to take it. Okay. Uh, Modern time uh, certificate is really hard than English. Okay. Um, so if, with which, uh, what kind of score you have to get in order to get this certificate? You have, you have to qualify. Uh, I have to get 86? 16.5 points. Uh, 65, okay. okay. Uh, it, uh, it seems like uh, to take a, a C1 safer. Wow, it it it, yes, it is it is hard. it's it's really really hard. Okay, um, I just I just want to question like a little bit about about literature right now. So, do you like reading books? Yeah, of course, I love reading books uh, because uh, reading books like a uh, uh, interesting watching movies. Uh, but uh, if you read watching, uh, if you read a lot of uh, books, uh, okay. you. Uh, you improve your mind and uh, you broaden your horizon yes, okay yes. and it's really interesting and uh, if you uh, read one book and uh, you uh, learn a lot of things you learn a lot of things who is your favorite like a uh, poet or novel novelist uh, since writer? i started to uh, uh read literature uh literature is my is favorite. a favorite okay yes, okay who, 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 what is uh Hashim, the favorite like uh, uh, Utur Hashim is always right about mothers okay. and uh, her, his uh, knowledge is really okay, memorable and interesting. Okay. Uh, if you read this, if touch you, our hearts, yes, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, if you read his one book and you decided to read again and again, okay, it's you will yes. get addicted to it. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Um, the, we know that you are like good at Uzbek language, mother tongue, so because of your teacher. Yes. So, uh, Samidinova, exactly. Uh, her name is? Uh, Gulbahar. Gulbahar Samidinova. Yes. So, let's talk about Gulbahar Samidinova right now. So, uh, how, you, how you describe your teacher? Uh, first time I met her, I was 
um, seventh grade, okay. and uh, she seems like a very hard teacher. Very strict teacher. Yes, like but, punishes a lot. Yeah, okay. but she's really a beautiful. Teacher. She's really beautiful. Okay. Uh, yes, and uh, then. Um, uh, when I was seventh grade, I started to learn Muslim language, but okay. I didn't interest in it. Okay. Uh, just I wanted it because of my mother. My mother told me have to learn uh, mother tongue and literature, but I didn't interest in it. Okay. Then um, I attend her course um, in one month. Okay. Then I left it. Uh, but you left the course, okay? Yes. Because of what? Uh, because of other things I didn't this uh, I didn't interest in it okay but uh, when I was uh, in ninth grade I decided to uh, learn mother tongue and literature okay. uh, because I have to get into university okay and um, then um, uh, for then Sam Dinava told my mother uh, your daughter is like a very um, clear, uh, clear very talented, yeah, talented okay and she has a talent for mother yes. tongue okay and then my uh, mother taught me have to attend her course and uh, when I uh, first time when I go her um, house she told me how are you mm -hmm. I remember you <laughs> <laughs> I remember you um, you left you left my course yes. okay then uh, uh, you know, when I was uh, fifth grade, uh, fifteenth, um, um, you know, uh, a lot of students uh, then older than me. Okay. Um, her uh, students, uh, all of the her students older than me, uh, three or uh, four uh, old. Okay, Sorry. three years old, yes. older than you. Okay. But how you describe the Swami Divna is like uh, when it comes to her personality. Uh, she's really hard teacher to her students. Uh, strict, very strict. Okay. Very strict, but it's uh, it's good. Uh, she, uh, when we uh, didn't answer her questions, uh, she always hit us. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, since uh, I was <clears throat> a few uh, she always uh, she, she always hit us, but it's good, and mm. she. It's very. Uh, she always gave us motivation. Motivation if to, you to, to yeah. okay. Uh, if you uh, didn't learn uh, mother tongue or some uh, subject, uh, you uh, how can I say? Uh, you will be nobody in the future. Okay, you will nobody in the future. Exactly. So I had the one student called Hamra uh, who got six point five yes. in IELTS. Um, he took some of his courses and got got, got into university. So. Yes. Because of because of her, I think uh -huh. Yeah, Khamro is now is living his dream right now. He's studying in Uzbek State World Language University. Um, Samidin is I think the best teacher in our country. Okay. And she, I think she, uh, how can I say, she's really a strong teacher. To, uh, she's very good at um, mother tongue. Okay, she knows exactly yes, what what, yes. what she's doing. Then okay. she understands something. You can release very easily. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for watching. Uh, it was about like mother tongue and literature and some Medina. And please uh, learn English, but don't forget mother tongue as well too. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.